All right, children that's it for the day, take your bags up from the table at the back your parents are here. Yeah, school is over. Um Sam it's time to go home. Okay mommy, bye teacher see you tomorrow. All right Sam, see you tomorrow. That's the last child, I can leave, let me just pack my things. Oh Miss Robinson, were you packing? I wanted you to help me out a bit, if you don't mind. Yeah sure, why not, you are my boss and also my church sister, it's no problem for me to help. Alright thank you my dear, I want some help making these charts for the kids. Mom I am here, good evening. Oh son, you are here, let me introduce you to one of my new teachers. Miss Robinson, and Miss Robinson this is my son Jordan, I believe you guys seen each other at church. Um, actually I don't remember seeing him at church. Really, you must have have seen him but you don't remember because he hasn't been to church for a long time. It's my first time seeing her as well, but nice to meet you Miss Robinson. Nice meeting you as well. I thought you two seen each other before, but he was going to church when you were here, maybe it's because you were so small. Yeah yeah that's it, you were so young that's why you don't remember him, you're in your 20s right, that explains it. Maybe. Alright mom I'll be going now, nice meeting you again Miss Robinson. So quickly you just got here. Yes mom, I just came to visit you since we haven't seen each other so long. I have some things to do so next time. Alright son, are you finished with the drawing? No not as yet but you can have a look at it. Okay. Wow, this is really good, you're very talented, why didn't you tell me you can draw? <laughs> you never asked. Well I guess I will be asking you to help me with these charts more often. No problem. That sounds like my husband is here, alright listen we can finish the chart tomorrow evening, I have to leave now. Alright. Come my husband will drop you off. Alright I think I'm done have a look. Wow. And you're hiding such a talent. These charts are amazing. They almost look like they were printed on the cartage paper. This is truly amazing. Help me put them up. Mom. Oh son you are here. Can you help us put up these charts? Yeah sure mom. Thanks son. It's my husband give me a second. Continue without me. So where do you want to put this one? Um, maybe on the wall to the left. Okay. <laughs> what are you watching? Oh, it's a TikTok video. Oh, you watch TikTok as well? Yeah, sometimes. Okay, so you're in your 20s. Um, yeah. So, you're in your early 20s or late 20s. Why do you want to know? I just wanted to get to know you more, I'm sorry if I offended you in any way. Okay take a wild guess. Mum, okay, I think you're in your early 20s. Am I correct? Yeah. Yes. <clears throat> so old are you? Take a wild guess. Ah, okay, you're in your late 20s. I'm flattered but no, I'm 39. <laughs> I guess that it surprises you. Yeah because you don't look like your age. I get that a lot so what's your name? You already know my name. No, I just know your surname, so are you going to tell me you already know mine, I think it's fair if you told me yours. It's Abigail. Oh that's a nice name, hi Abigail I'm Jordan. Why is your mom taking so long? Why, are you getting tired of me, if you want me to leave you alone then I will. It's not like that, I'm just really tired, I had a long day with the kids, I need some rest. Oh I see, so do you like teaching? To be honest, I never thought of myself as being a teacher. Teaching is not my favorite job at all. Really, so why are you working here? I'm here because of your mom, she needed help and new staff so I came, and I'm sure you know that the school is not a rich one, it's not easy to gain teachers here because of the low pay. Oh I see. So what did you really want to do before you came here to work? A nurse or pediatrician. 
So why haven't you gone to college to do that? That's the thing we don't have the money so the easiest thing for me to get into is early childhood. Oh, well you will get used to this maybe even love it. I'm not so sure about that but we will see. Alright I'm back, oh sorry for taking so long. Will you guys finish? Yes we're done putting him up. Alright very good, we need to leave now. Jordan, do you want to come with us since we are passing nearby your house? Okay I'll come. Alright. Hello, welcome to our cafe. What would you like today? I would like a coffee with extra milk, that's all. Alright here's your order miss. Have a nice day. Thank you and same to you. If I did not know better, I would think you're following me. I should be saying that to you, you came in after I did. Okay, okay, you got me. Why do you look this way? What's wrong? I was just coming from my uncle's funeral. I just came here to take my mind off things but it isn't easy. Oh, sorry to hear that. Who is your uncle? Do you know the owner of the five-star restaurant in your area? Oh yeah, I know him. I heard that he died in an accident. He's my uncle. Wow. I did not know my condolences. That's where it all started. He caught me in my weakness, when I was at my lowest and need someone to comfort me. I thought of him as a good friend, a trustworthy one at that, and that's where I was trapped. I thought that this guy was the one and only one, I was afraid to tell him how I really felt. The more I was around him, it's the more I started to gain feelings for him, despite the warnings. <laughs> You have such a beautiful smile. Jordan. Yes. Ever since I've been around you I felt so much better, there's never a dull moment with you. You always try to make me smile and it works even when I'm upset, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate you. It's no problem for me, especially when I'm speaking to such an amazing woman, and that's why I like being around you so much. I feel like I can be myself around you. Abigail, can you? What's going on in here? Nothing, mom. I'm gonna go by Miss Robinson. Well. Speak. I, um, well, you see, the thing is, ah. Uh, Are you in a relationship with my son? No, no, not at all. Then what did I see when I came in here? I understand that you two are both grown people and you can make your own decisions but listen. I was once like you, I know exactly how you might be feeling now but remember this, you're a child of God. Your body is the temple of God. Do you even know the type person he is? Yes he is my son but I don't want to see you get hurt. You're beautiful, young and a smart young lady, and I don't ever want to see anyone tamper with you. My son is a playboy, he has different women all around, he is only looking for his next target. Remember I told you my son was attending our church? Yeah. Well when I said he used to attend our church, I also mean that he was once a Christian man, do you remember the child I used to carry along with me at church? Yeah, isn't he your son? What? No. He is not my son but my grandson, he is Jordan's child. Yes, he had this child with his ex-wife Linda. Did he tell you that he had a son or an wife? No he didn't tell me. Wow, did even tell you that he is a child with another woman out of his marriage? No. See what I am saying to you, be careful I am his mother so I know him better than you. Do you know what our church members would say, all the scandals, if they see you with him, and what if you get pregnant? What would your parents say? Choose wisely my dear. All I can do is warn you, it's all up to you if you wish to listen and take heed. Stay away from him. I have warned you. 
my son is not good for you, be patient, God will send a very good husband for you. Good, now come I want you to help me put something outside. Hi, thanks for accepting my request to come out here. I tried so many times to get to you on your phone but you did not pick up the call. You haven't spoken to me for two weeks now is something wrong. Why that face? When were you going to tell me that you have a ex-wife and two kids and one of them is not your wife's child but of another woman? Who told you that? I was going to tell you but... But what? I wanted to tell you when I was ready. So you were waiting until you were ready. And when exactly would you have been ready sir? Alright look I know you're mad and you probably think I am lying but it's the truth. Oh, okay. No for real Abby, it's not easy talking about my ex-wife to people because it brings back bad memories. You see I was married to my wife for 3 years, everything seemed okay, so I thought my wife was happy. I came home from work early one day without telling my wife anything. And because of that she did not know I was home. I went to the kitchen but my wife was not there, so I went up to our bedroom. What I saw. What I saw was my wife cheating on me with another man. I couldn't bear what I had just seen and got into a fight with this man. My wife called the cops but it wasn't on him but on me. I end up breaking the man's nose and almost killed him. So I was charged and sent to prison for 6 years. While I was in prison I got a letter from my wife but it was not a letter. It was divorce papers she wanted me to sign them, so I did. After I came out of jail I found another woman and I ended up getting her pregnant but because I refused to tie the knot with her. She also cheated on me and left me for a more successful man. Jeez, I am sorry to hear that. Thanks for telling me, I didn't expect something as bad as this. I understand completely now, I apologize for not answering your calls. It's okay, if I was in your shoes I would have done the same thing, I don't normally tell people what happened between me and my ex-wife. But I decided to tell you because well, I think I've started to have feelings for you. I feel the same. Wow, what, really? Do you love me? Yes I love you. Do you love me? What kind of a question is that of course I love you. Jordan and I started dating behind his mom's back. We tried to keep what we had under a low light. We have been in a relationship for six months and I was enjoying every moment of it. He was so gentle and kind to me, I have never felt this way around a man before. It felt like a fairy tale coming to life, but the difference is that I am the one in it as the main character. I never knew that love can feel so good. He treated me like a queen, it was hard not to love this man, I was so invested into this relationship that I would do anything to please him. Even if it means I would have to compromise my faith for him. What's wrong? I don't think I'm ready yet, can't we wait until we're official, I am tired of hiding Jordan. I understand that, look it's just for the first night and I promise I won't leave you. You say you won't leave me but how can I be so sure? We have been together for 6 months and you still don't know me. I do know you. So what's the problem? I am scared Jordan what if I get pregnant, what if we don't work out? Abby you're overthinking. Even if you do get pregnant for me which I highly doubt, I would still be there to take care of you and our child. I don't know about this Jordan, I want to get married. What if we do it and you still don't marry me just like what you did to the other girl before me? I won't do that to you, I did not love that girl, but I do love you. Listen I love you but I want another child and I want to know that the next woman I marry is able to bring me that child. Have a baby for me and I will marry you. 
I promise this to you today the woman I love that if you conceive a child for me I will marry you. So will you do it? Okay. I love you. I love you more. I lost something that day that I have been holding on to for 22 years. I promised myself that the only person that I would give it to was my husband, but look at what I just done. Now I live to regret it. You said you wanted to tell me something. Yes. Go ahead. Jordan. I'm pregnant. Now we can get married, go on honeymoon, pick names for the baby and many other things. We can start our little family. I'm so excited. Why are you not saying anything? Listen here, stay away from me. And you better go look for the baby daddy cause the child ain't mine. Jordan, what do you mean? Stop calling my name in that mouth of yours. Don't you know lying lips is an abomination to the Lord? You got pregnant by another man and now you want to pin the baby on me. What? Jordan, please tell me that you're joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Jordan, you're the only man I have slept with from the past two months. I don't know that you could be lying. I can't believe you're saying this to me. Have you forgotten what you told me? You said if I carry a baby for you, you would marry me. So what's the meaning of this? And you're stupid enough to believe that I would never marry you. Not after what happened to me and my ex-wife. You said you loved me. Love who? You. <coughs> I just said that so I could sleep with you, fool. Why would I marry you? What makes you different from other women? You used me. I just did what any other man would. And you better not go tell my mom that I got you pregnant. Delete my number, I'm done with you. Slut. After that I left the school, heartbroken, worried, wondering what my parents would think of me. I remembered the warnings my church sister given to me and how disappointed she would be. And I know that the people at church would not let me hear the end of it, not only it would bring shame to my family but also my church sister's family. I don't think my parents would be able to handle it, so I decided to do what I thought at that time as the easier option. Jordan why did you do this to me? I don't want to live anymore. I did something so stupid, I should have listened now look at me, why me, why? I won't carry this baby, especially for a father like that. I hate myself. I'm going to jump of this bridge, it's not like anyone would care anyways. What is that woman doing over there? Hey, no, don't. <laughs>